Today on the workbench, we have the Juul Super 10, made in the US in 1961. It was reported to have bad volume. So let's uh, take it apart and see what's up. Looks like it takes nine volts, but also looks like someone's been here before me. Well, let's see if we can clean that up a little bit too. Okay, super loud. Let's swap out the caps and uh, see if we can make this a little, uh, a little cleaner without the electrical tape and stuff. Let's get it open. There we go. And we got it open. So what do we have here? I see one, two, three, four. These are sharing. Interesting. Well, let's get to it. These two guys are tied together, which complicates things a little bit. You know what? I have an idea. Just get rid of the tangle. Okay, there's one. There's two. Something I've had fun doing is comparing the caps we pulled out with the new ones we're putting in. Let's take a look at the 50 we just took out. 77 with a ESR2. Not completely terrible. And how about the other one? It's very similar, 75, 2.5. And what we're putting in is forty nine point four nine, very close match, and forty nine point oh four. I suspect this was not our problem, but they were going to fail eventually, so let's get them in. Here's a hint, by the way. When you see something like this, this is clearly the ground plane. And if you're gonna replace an electrolytic cap, the negative terminal is very likely to be on something like this. And sure enough, it is in this case too. Alrighty. Another one. This is a 10. Once again, let's compare what we just took out. So this 10 to 24, the ESR of 10 is terrible. And what we're about to put in is 
10 and uh, ESR of 3.2. So much better. Well, let's compare the one we just took out. The 10 is 27 with an ESR of 9.6. Terrible. And the new one we're putting in. Ten point four two with an ESR of 3. So much better. All right, let's trim the leads. Let's clean the contacts. All right, I think we have to figure out how we can clean this up a little bit. This is pretty ugly looking. Maybe we can just do that a little more directly. And we got them. So we don't lose track, let's uh, solder in the next one. Let's solder in the one we just pulled. Well, let's get it back together. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, I'll be making more. And if you see anything I missed, again, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.